Hello, my dear students. Welcome again. This is Ms. May Badr, your English teacher. We will continue studying Connect 4. Today we are going to study Unit 3, Lesson 3. Please make sure that you bring your books to all our sessions. You should also bring along papers and a pen. That's all you need to enjoy our lessons together. So let's begin. Did you find out how plants help people? Good. Today, we are going to talk more about how why, and why plants are green, how they make their food and how they can help people. Let's open together page 50. Look at the pictures. What can you see? Look, this is called pollen. What do we mean by pollen? What pollen is? Very good. It's a fine powder produced by certain plants when they reproduce. يعني إيه الكلام ده؟ يعني البولين ده powder بيكون خفيف قوي علشان ال plants to reproduce يعني to grow other plants. People, for example, are giving birth, and the birds are laying eggs. But the plants are producing the fine powder in order to make new plants. Let's look together at the first one. A plant produces pollen in a flower. It uses pollen to make new seeds. The seeds travel away from the plant. The seeds need a new place to grow. Which picture is this, you think? Very good. Picture D. And it's written here. Let's do number two together. Some seeds can move in the wind. These seeds are very light. Which picture is this? Take your time. Very good. Picture A. Because it shows that the seeds can move by the wind. Some seeds can stick to an animal's fur. The animals move and take the seeds with them. Which picture is this? Very good. C. We have a dog here and the seeds are stuck to the dog. The last one. Other seeds can float on water to find a new place to grow. These seeds are usually big and light. What picture is this? Very good. The last one that floats on water. I'm so proud of you. Now, Let's look at exercise number two. Work in pairs. Discuss these questions. The first one, how do seeds move to new places? Again, how do seeds move to new places? Can you tell me? Very good. Excellent. Yes, through the wind, through sticking to animals' fur, by water. Very good. The other question says, why do seeds move to new places? Take your time and think. Yes, exactly. They need new places to grow. Where there is light, water, and nutrients. Yani in nutrients, nutrients like the food, 
plants are living things they need to eat بس هما مش بياكلوا بنفس الطريقه اللي احنا بناكل بيها هما عندهم في الصايل في التربه حاجه اسمها نيوترنت النيوترنت ده هو الفود بتاعهم so plants need water sunlight and nutrients very good my dear boys and girls now let's open page 51 exercise 3 look and circle listen and check let's listen to the audio together and then we will go back to our page look and circle listen and check one it travels by air circle in blue two it travels on animals circle in red three it travels by air circle in blue four it travels on animals circle in red five it travels by water circle in green let's do the exercise together the question says circle in blue seeds which travel by air circle in red seeds which travel on animals and circle in green seeds which which travel by water i want you to prepare the three colors with you okay so circle in blue you need a blue color circle in red you need a red color and circle in green of course you will need a green color let's look at the first one number one do you think it travels by air by on animals or by water very good as you see it's so light so number one by air again number one by air if i will choose by air which color i'm going to use the blue color of course so you have to circle number one in blue let's see number two what do you think does it travel by air or on animals or by water very good number two on animals which color do we need for the seeds that travel on animals very good the red color so we will circle number two in red number three it is so light so what do you think so number three it travels by air so our color will be blue number four does it travel by air on animals or by water very good on animals so we'll choose the red color the last one number five does it travel by air on animals or by water yes this seed travels by water so which color are you going to to circle with you are going to circle with the green color very good my dear boys and girls now in exercise four we are going to read a scientific text and please try to answer these questions this question is the plant cell big or small let's read together look and read is a plant cell big or small a plant is made of millions of cells the plant cells are very very small chloroplasts make the plant green you can only see them with a microscope the green plant cells make food for the plant. They use sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. يعني إيه الكلام ده؟ يعني البلانت عندنا معمول معمول جواها cells خلايا million of cells. 
السيلز دي اسمها كلوروبلاست وهي اللي بتخلي الزرع لونه أخضر We can only see them with the microscope بنحتاج الميكروسكوب عشان نشوف السيلز دي عشان السيلز دي very very small The green plant cells make food for the plant السيلز دي مسؤولة إنها تعمل الأكل بتاع البلانت عن طريق إيه؟ عن طريق sunlight carbon dioxide and water Okay So let's answer the question Is a plant cell big or small? Can you tell me? Very good As we said The plant cell is very very small One more time The plant cell is very very small Super my dear boys and girls Now let's read the text again and answer the questions in exercise number five. Let's read the text together one more time. A plant is made of millions of cells. The plant cells are very, very small. Chloroplasts make the plant green. You can only see them with a microscope. The green plant cells make food for the plant. They use sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. Are you ready to read number five? Let's read and answer the questions. Number five. Read the text again. Choose A or B. Number one. What makes the plant green? A اللي بيخلي البلانت لونه أخضر. A. Chloroplasts. B. Sunlight. Very good. A. Chloroplasts. Number two, when does the plant make its food? A, during the day or B, at night. The plant بتعمل الفود بتاعها امتى? في النهار ولا بالليل? As we said, they use sunlight. So, of course, during the day. Number three, what does the plant use to make its food? البلانت بيعمل الأكل بتاعه إزاي؟ Carbon dioxide and oxygen or carbon dioxide, sunlight and water. Very good. B. Carbon dioxide, sunlight and water. وما ننساش إن النيوترينس دي اللي بيحتاجها البلانت اللي اتكلمنا عليها قبل كده بتكون موجودة جوه السويل. حاجة كده زي الفيتامينز اللي بتغذي البلانت. Now Let's open together page 52 and look at the picture. Why do you think people grow plants near their homes? Maybe because they look nice, because they give off oxygen and help keep the environment clean. Yes. Very good. Do you have any plants in your home? And why? Okay, now let's go back to the board and open page 53. Let's read again one more time and explain. How plants clean air. People need oxygen so we can breathe. In big cities, the air is polluted because of factories and cars. There is a lot of carbon dioxide in the air. معناه ايه الكلام ده؟ ان الزرع او النبات بيعمل purification للاير. It purifies the air. In big cities, like Cairo, for example, the air is polluted. مليان تلوث عشان في مصانع وفي عوادم عربيات. The carbon dioxide اللي موجود في الهواء ده مش بيكون healthy. Green plants take carbon dioxide from the air. الزرع بياخد الكربون دايكسيد من الهواء. 
The plant cells need carbon dioxide to make their food for the plant. وبيستفادوا بالكربون دايكسيد ده علشان يعملوا their own food as we said before. مش بس كده. The plants كمان بتproduce oxygen. يعني إيه؟ بتطلع oxygen. فإحنا بنستفيد منه عشان إحنا بنتنفسه. Plants in our houses and parks give us oxygen to breathe. In some cities like Paris and Milan, people are growing plants on apartment buildings. الناس في باريس وفي ميلان بيحبوا يزرعوا قوي حتى في الابارتمنتس بتاعتهم في الشقق بتاعتهم بيزرعوا. These plants keep the buildings cool and help with air pollution. هما بيعملوا كده ليه؟ علشان ينقوا الجو من حواليهم. The people who live in the buildings can breathe cleaner air. عشان كده الناس اللي بتبقى عايشة في البيوت دي بيقدروا يتنفسوا هواء صحي. عشان احنا بنطلع الكربون دايكسايد وبنتنفس الاكسجين لكن البلانت بيعمل العكس بيتنفس الكربون دايكسايد وبيطلع لنا الاكسجين طيب نمبر 8 read the text again match the words with the definitions number 1 polluted what do we mean by polluted A. A gas in the air that people need to breathe. B. A gas in the air that green plants use to make their food. Or C. Dirty from factories and cars. إحنا قلنا إن pollution أو حاجة polluted معناها تلوث. فتفتكروا أني إجابة فيهم؟ A or B or C. Very good. C. Number two, oxygen. I have two choices here. A gas in the air that people need to breathe or a gas in the air that green plants use to make their food. What do you think? Very good. We breathe the oxygen. We inhale the oxygen. So, oxygen, a gas in the air that people need to breathe. Number three, carbon dioxide. Of course, a gas in the air that green plants use to make their food. So, we will match the carbon dioxide with B. One more time. Let's do it one more time. Number one, polluted, يعني تلوث. معناه dirty from factories and cars. ال dirt أو التلوث اللي بيطلع من ال factories من المصانع ومن العربيات. Number two, oxygen, a gas in the air that people need to breathe. اللي إحنا بنتنفسه. زي ما إحنا قلنا we exhale, we inhale the oxygen and we exhale. The carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, a gas in the air that green plants use to make their food. And when we exhale the carbon dioxide, the plants take it in order to make their food. And then they give us the oxygen again one more time. Now I want you to tell me, which idea do you think is better? Having plants and trees in the deserts or on apartment buildings. Please think of the question till next time. In the next lesson, we are going to learn more about plants. We are going to have loads of fun as usual. See you next time. Bye-bye.